Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to reboot a computer back to factory settings. Now before you ever reboot your computer back to factory settings, it's a good idea to try to get a backup of the files and programs that are on that computer because they're going to be totally erased by that uh, restore functionality. Now depending on your computer, your manufacturer may have sent you a CD that you have to stick in your computer or boot to. Uh, in the case of my laptop, uh, there's a second partition that's on the computer that I can press the F11 key to boot. And that's going to launch our restore uh, program. So just turn on your computer. If you have to use a CD, put the computer into the put the CD into the computer. But in my case, I'm just going to have to press F11 at the boot up screen here. So this is going to launch the system restore utility that comes with your manufacturer. It might take a little bit of time to boot. Once it is booted up, uh, this particular laptop is an HP laptop. So you're going to have some sort of a recovery manager uh, similar, similar to that one. And it'll be basically a wizard that you run through that has very detailed instructions uh, on what it's going to do. So I'm just going to click Next here. And mine asks if I would like to run the Microsoft System Restore. I'm going to say Yes. And if I click Next here uh, with this particular software, it's going to launch the HP software that will restore my computer back to its factory settings. Uh, and basically the next time I boot, it will be as if I had just gotten the computer. Uh, all my files and programs will have been erased. Uh, and if you're using a laptop, it's a good idea to plug that laptop in because this might take an hour or an hour and a half to complete. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to restore your computer to factory settings.